Homestyle tofu. Uh, Homestyle usually means uh, cooked in the local style. Like uh, the style that is common to a particular city or area. Homestyle tofu. tofu. Yeah, you can tell they use uh, black, uh, bun black bunkers all the time, right? Yeah, they yeah. use it in a lot of dishes. Yeah. Okay. Um, Homestyle tofu. Like I said before, tofu is not that popular in America because it, it really, you have to add something to it to give it flavor. It doesn't have much flavor on its own. And uh, the texture of silky tofu, which is the most common in the U.S., is off-putting to, to some people. Okay, the next dish is sautéed tofu in hot and spicy sauce. So, um, sautéed means fried in a small amount of oil, usually in a shallow frying pan. Uh, but this tofu is sautéed and then it is added to a hot and spicy sauce. Nanjian tofu. Uh, so, nanjian. Nanjian. Nanjian tofu. Nanjian tofu. Yeah, there you go. Okay, uh, so, yeah, um, I can't, I've never tried this because uh, I couldn't handle the hot and spicy sauce. It's not my stomach that's the problem, it's my mouth. Uh, anything spicy blows out my taste buds and I can't taste anything. It's like, after I eat something really spicy for the next 30 minutes, I can't taste anything else. It's like I'm holding my nose. It's a weird weird probably genetic disorder um, and so I can't eat spicy things okay the next one is stir-fried cauliflower uh, you, you just talk about satay tofu yeah uh, cheese, uh, satay tofu with uh, hot and spicy hot and spicy sauce okay sauce okay so you say to say something called ma po tofu say that Ma po dofu. Ma po dofu. Ma po dofu. They are usually very spicy to my taste. You know. All right, move on. Okay. Uh, yeah. If it's spicy for you, it would kill my taste buds. I wouldn't be able to taste anything for an hour. Okay. Uh, the next one is stir fried cauliflower with soy sauce. I love cauliflower. Uh, as long as they don't go too heavy on the soy sauce, I think that would be good. Soy sauce by itself is a little too s salty if you use too much of it. It's kind of like ketchup. It, it's good if you use it in small amounts, but you don't want to smother something in it. Cauliflower means bai uh, hua ye cai. It's white. Yeah, it's like kind of like white broccoli. It look looks like white broccoli kind of. Yeah, broccoli <coughs> itself uh, is green. Yeah, broccoli is green, cauliflower is white. Okay, the next dish is braised tofu with mushrooms. That's another one of the things I don't like. Uh, this is a preference. It's not like the pepper. Uh, the pepper I can't handle, but I can handle mushrooms. I just don't like the taste. Um, so braised means usually uh, we just talked about that, didn't we? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Hong sao. Braised tofu with mushrooms. At least the tofu would get some of the flavor from the other things in uh, in the braising liquid. But uh, mushrooms are not my favorite. Okay. Uh, they misspelled egg, or maybe they meant to add an s. Rice fried with eggs, or you could say egg fried rice. Yeah, egg Dario said shiitake mushrooms. Oh, shiitake, yeah. It should be pronounced that way. So this dish uh, uses shiitake mushrooms. Uh, shiitake is Japanese, a Japanese word. Okay, uh, I like egg fried rice. Uh, I like fried rice in general, uh, just not with mushrooms. Okay, the next dish is sauerkraut fried rice. 
So, uh, sauerkraut is like pickled cabbage. And uh, so they add the pickled cabbage to the fried rice. And that's pretty good too. Next is stir fried noodles with uh, tomatoes. Okay, uh, let me. Okay. I can't pronounce sauerkraut, right? Sauerkraut. All right. Sour, it should be S O U. Okay. It's, Ger it's a German word. Okay, uh, sauerkraut. 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 Yeah. Uh, just like a pickle. Okay. Uh, you know what? Pickle. Uh, well, uh, Korean pickle. Korean pickle. Uh, usually when you say kimchi. Kimchi. Yeah. Usually when you say pickle in English, we think of the uh, pickled uh, zucchini or, you know, you know what I'm talking about? Zucchini? Yeah. Uh, those are called pickles. But pickle as a verb means to preserve something in a Oh, you're Germany. In an acidic liquid like uh, vinegar. Oh, we use that. Western kimchi. A... I guess you could call it Western kimchi. We don't in the U.S. I think we use that kind of sauerkraut a lot in hot dog. Right. Uh, sauerkraut is popular on hot dogs well, the, in the West. Oh, it, it's or in America. Sour, yeah, it's very sour. I'm not a big fan of pickles. Uh, I, I like kimchi as long as it's not the very spicy kind of kimchi, like the, the red kind in Korea. Uh, my taste buds can't handle it. Okay, so stir-fried noodles with tomatoes and eggs. This, to most Westerners, is a very odd combination. Uh, <laughs> Uh, you know, um, <laughs> spaghetti noodles with tomatoes and eggs, kind of strange. But then again, uh, you know, uh, Western style breakfast would be strange to most Taiwanese people, and Taiwanese breakfast would be strange to most Western people, except for the egg rolls. The egg rolls with the the eggs and the meat. Now that would be like a Western style breakfast. But when you start adding vegetables to things. Most Americans don't do vegetables in the morning. It's too early. We eat meat and egg. Um, a lot I'm of people protein. Watching. Say hi to uh, the people on YouTube. Hello on, uh, to people watching Jason Adam TV on YouTube. Uh, thank you for watching. If you have any comments, please leave them during the live stream and I'll try to answer them.